Hey peeps, thanks for watching, sending you lots of love on this beautiful sunny day. Um, so I'm just reading more of A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle and um, it's, he's just been saying about <coughs> letting go of self-definitions and in my last video about ego, that's sort of what I'd noticed within myself in the previous videos where I'd been defining myself as like a light worker and empath and labelling on other people as narcissists or different things like that which just causes more separation and what you're saying here is like by defining it or like you know he like congratulates people when they don't know who they are anymore and then people look confused at the, are confused that he thinks it's good to be confused or not knowing but he's saying you know if we just let go and it doesn't matter we don't need to know who you know we don't need to find or define ourselves so like defining ourselves through thought is actually limiting ourselves is what he says and yeah, that does make sense, like, when we put ourselves in all these boxes, we're just causing more separation when actually, you know, we're all made up of exactly the same stuff, we're all part of the same, same, we're just, you know, and what, we shouldn't really limit ourselves, you know, it's limitless, all that we can achieve and accomplish and be, and all that we are is limitless, you know. We don't need to strive to be anything, we already are that, everything is within already. It's just like unleashing that or shining a light on it. Um, so yeah, that's really interesting. And also he's saying about, oh, um, <laughs> you know, normally when we fall in love with someone, it's, you know, the in, in, intensification of our ego of wanting and needing and you know and then we become addicted to that person and he's saying that true love contains no wanting whatsoever so I think that goes for like self-love as well once we find that love within ourselves and truly love ourselves and accept ourselves a hundred percent then we can to others and then that's that's true love you know um but while we're searching without it uh, from... <laughs> Hiya! Hello! <Aww. laughs> Lovely little pooch coming to say hi there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love dogs so it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, I totally forgot what I was saying there. <laughs> So yeah, so basically he's saying that we fall in love or fall in love and actually it's, you know, wanting and needing and it's, you know, that egoic image that we project and believe that person to be and then actually he's saying like, you know, when you move in and stuff together then you really see who they truly are or, you know, and then that ego then becomes, you know, anger and they're not living up to our wants and our needs and stuff. We have to find those wants. We have to tend to our own wants and needs within ourselves. And, you know, no one else can give that to us. Only ourselves. And, yeah. <sighs> I'm feeling so light today. I'm feeling really free and loved and detached and... Oh. taking a moment to appreciate there. Um, so yeah, um, I'm also reading um, that book about finding, you know, our shadow selves as well, this dream, dreaming through darkness, and that's really great. I've just stopped at the first, um, the first little exercise. Um, so that's gonna be about setting intentions and yeah, 
So they're saying as well, you know, we're shining a light on our shadow selves and, and acknowledging working with these things and we can be truly happy and healthy and functioning rather than suppressing what we presume to be our dark side of ourselves, you know. That's actually where all our power is held and untapped potential. So yeah, um, so I did this amazing meditation last night. Um, I'll try and remember to put a link in the bottom, but I've been following this uh, guy, Aaron Doherty, I think. Um, I'll send a link to his channel down below. And yeah, it's all about raising consciousness and he's such a bubbly, great essence. And yeah, I did this meditation for raising vibration and I sat by my altar and, you know, uh, had my incense going and was really listening and I had some of my music on in the background, my meditation music. And wow, this meditation, I was like vibrating at the end with all just love and joy and it was beautiful and yeah, it was amazing and intense and then I fell asleep afterwards and you know, woke up a bit spun out um, and then I was went back to sleep and like woke up this morning just feeling amazing like I've just let go and oh, I feel so blessed and so happy and I'm ready to share share my journey with the world and raise my own consciousness and help others raise their consciousness too and yeah let's yeah, let's just all take a moment to show appreciation and love for ourselves and for everything. Um, this divine Gaia and yeah, everything is beautiful, everything's divine, everything is perfect. And yeah, so sending you so much love right now. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and you know share if you think you can help other people. I'm wearing a rainbow today because I'm feeling those rainbow vibes. Um, chakras aligned and feeling good. Um, so yeah, sending you so much love and light right now. Bless you. Peace. Love you. Bye.